So, ruin DLC, huh? Yeah. Um, where do I even start? Oh, I guess I first want to mention that a thank you to everyone who's been really supportive. This game release has been awesome, and I was really nervous, actually, about everything coming out. This was my first really big production, and I didn't know if people were gonna like me, but I mean, so far, so good. Everyone's really, really nice, and it's been amazing. Overall, I really enjoyed the story of the game. Um... I didn't as much enjoy being crushed under a forklift and, um, you know, the, the more intricate parts that were kind of damaging. The response so far has been fantastic. People are really enjoying it and that's all I can really ask for. <laughs> Roar! Oh, um, that's not exactly an answer. Was making the game scary? Oh, well, definitely in some parts I'd say it was definitely scary. I mean, the cast and everything was great to work with, but I'm sure um, everyone watching this interview has probably seen the part with the mimic, and the mimic was kind of creepy, but overall I consider myself pretty brave, and I thought I handled it really well, and like I said, the cast is really great to work with, and I, I enjoyed it. For the most part. So we heard you lost your spot as Roxanne in the game, but you got it back? What happened there? Oh, um, well, let's just say, um, there were difficulties with my replacement being cooperative. All right, welcome, Gregory. I'm going to be your impromptu interviewer because uh, the last one left due to ruin Roxanne. So, oh, um, yeah, uh, nice makes... to meet you. Um, nice to meet you too. Um, I'm, I'm Gregory. <laughs> All right. Uh, please don't look at the camera. Go ahead and look at the X in front of you and oh, okay. we'll go ahead and get started with the questions. Starting with number one, did Colleen Ballinger inspire your ukulele apology you posted on YouTube yesterday? Wait, what? No, who? I don't, I don't know who that is. Look, it was it was my manager's idea, okay? They, they wanted me to make a song, so I did. And I thought that maybe it would be a sufficient apology, but it seems like I'm still getting a lot of backlash online. Um, Can we just, maybe, can you ask me some other questions that don't have to do with, you know, the ending thing or anything? Mark that as a yes. All right, moving on. <laughs> do you actually like carrot cake? <laughs> Uh, believe it or not, uh, Cassie from the game has actually themed a lot around Cassie as in me. So, yeah, they took that from me liking carrot cake, and I, I do really like carrot cake. <laughs> do you like carrot cake? Um, what? Who is your favorite between Gregory and Cassie? <laughs> oh, um... I'm not really sure that's an appropriate question that you want to ask. Um, is... So you don't have an answer? Well, I, do I have to pick one? Gregory's my son. The fans want the hot tea, Roxanne. Well, there is no hot tea. I, Cassie's great and all, but Gregory's my my son. I, so you prefer Gregory? I, I don't prefer either of them necessarily. I, I love and appreciate both. What made you turn viciously evil? What? What do you mean turn viciously evil? I'm not viciously evil. Maybe we can just move on to the next question for context. Um, <clears throat> what is your motive behind murdering your best friend, Cassie? What? I, I didn't murder my best- Okay, are you talking about the end of the game? Yes, we are referring to the end of Ruin DLC. What are your thoughts on the game's ending? Roar! Who is really your favorite animatronic? Well, like I said, Game Cassie actually took a lot of aspects from me, a normal Cassie, and it's actually really funny if you looked at the original Ruin DLC poster on it, uh, my outfit and everything looked a lot different, and even my hair was blonde and in pigtails, and that's because I was originally themed around Chica, and I think that's why they chose me or the name Cassie, because Cassie, Chica, both start with C's. Anyways, I'm going on a tangent, but they actually ended up changing it for probably a couple reasons. Uh, number one, uh, 
Roxanne has a little bit more personality than Chica. No offense, Chica. It's just you obsess over food and um, Roxanne has always actually been my favorite character. So when I told them that I was really excited to meet and work with Roxanne, they decided to switch things up and make Roxanne kind of my hero in the game, if you will. And I really like that. So. <laughs> what is it like being the mother to a traitor? I'm sorry? Gregory, he betrayed the main protagonist of the game. Cassie. You do realize that we're all just actors and it's just a, a game, right? I didn't kill Cassie, okay? It was the mimic. You guys heard my song. I literally, if you need more clarification, go listen to the song that I posted yesterday, okay? It, it has all the information that you need in it. Oh, uh, we heard the song and let's just say, um, don't quit your day job, Gregory. Um, what? oh my gosh, okay. Roar! Oh, um. Boss, she's doing it again. Why did you apologize to Cassie when you grabbed her arm? Um, well, uh, in the game, obviously, when we first see Roxanne, she's still really dead set on getting Gregory, which is all due to the fact that Vanny still has affected her mind or whatever. When Roxanne grabs Cassie's arm for the first time, in that one scene that you're referencing, that's kind of... The first time that she hears somebody else talk, she hears Cassie say, ah, and scream, and I think she says, let go of me. Roxanne realizes that it's not Gregory, and I think she finally has, like, her moment where she's realizing that something's up with her mind because she's grabbed her arm, she apologizes and says sorry, and then she kind of backs away, the door closes, and after that you hear her go, error. She's realizing that something's wrong with her, and then I, I don't know if she reboots her herself after because i mean the next time we see her she comes in and saves well no the next time we see her she's much better and she's crushed under a forklift why did no one show up at your birthday party uh, well it was just my birthday party in the game not actually my real birthday party i had a real birthday party i hope people would show up it wasn't that nobody came to the birthday party either i mean gregory was there and roxanne was there too thanks to gregory actually so i was Really appreciative that he was there, and I still had a really, really fun day, and I'm grateful that I had my birthday party there. <laughs> well, let's just move on to another question, since you seem reluctant to answer the obvious ones. What? Just, let's start yeah. with this one. Why did you lure Cassie to the Pizzaplex? What? Okay, you're- these are- Deceptive. These are really misleading questions, okay? And I, I can't really give good answers because they're, they're not real. I didn't lure anyone to the pizza plex. Even at the end of the game, I literally told her I was not even there. Me and my friend were up at the top and she just happened to be in the elevator with the mimic. You heard the little, like, the noise, the wee, and then it was me talking and then it was the mimic talking, but then everyone thinks it was still me and they think that I'm the one who dropped the elevator, but I couldn't have done it. I, I don't have a way to drop the elevator, right? You have to believe me. Right. We totally believe you, Gregory. Um, <sighs> right. Um, yeah, just have the security on standby just in case things get... Okay, uh, I'm not dangerous. I'm 12 years old. What do you see yourself doing now that the game has been released? <gasps> Is it your birthday? Um, no. I remember that you like Carrot Roar. Um, boss, I don't know if I can keep doing this. How was it that you were squashed underneath a forklift, ruined, and deactivated by Cassie, but you were still able to save her in the end? Um, that's a really good question. Um, I also asked the game developers that myself. I don't know if that's something they're going to delve into more in the future of how exactly that makes sense storyline-wise. I will say I'm grateful that I could have been there to, uh, save her from the mimic, because obviously I don't think things would have worked out as good or bad, depending on the ending that you receive. I don't think they would have worked out the any of the ending ways, um, she probably just would have been killed by the mimic, so I'm grateful I was in the right place at the right time, though I, I agree, it didn't make a whole lot of sense, especially with me being deactivated, so I, I guess the only theory I could think is when, um, the MXCS thing went back, um, maybe that powered me back up, but that also doesn't make sense because Cassie shut it down, so I, I don't know. <laughs> Are you mad at Gregory? Mad at Gregory? Why would I be mad at Gregory? Well, he did kill you at the end of the game. I 
guess that's true. Um, I guess it all goes into whatever theory you're going to believe. Personally, I don't think that Gregory killed me at the end of the game. I think the Mimic did. There are a lot of reasons that suggest that. So I'm going to go with that. The Mimic killed me and not Gregory. And even if Gregory did kill me, I'm sure he would have his reasons for doing so. Um, so I still wouldn't be mad at him, probably. Um, let's just move on to the next question before we get more uncomfortable. Um, are you actually a robot? Really? Now let's move on to some burning fan questions. Oh boy, uh, lay them on me, I guess. What does it feel like to be, quote, mommy, uh, sorry, oh, oh mommy, um, sorry, uh, oh, mommy? Oh, oh, you're still going. Did you and Gregory meet prior to you filming the Ruin DLC? Oh yeah, um, we met at the Pizza Plex, uh, because of work and stuff, but definitely met prior to filming, and I like to think we became pretty fast friends. <laughs> it's unfortunate that it had to end at the end, though, huh? Well, uh, like I said, that the game is just a, a game where we're still friends and stuff in real life. <laughs> right, but Gregory is a robot. Uh, Gregory's not a rope. I'm kind of confused. What do you mean? <laughs> Gregory is a killer robot. That's what all the news outlets are saying. Why does everyone think that I'm a robot? Oh, the mimic thing really didn't help, did it? Gregory is a killer robot? Oh my god! Uh, wow, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm blushing. Truly. Um, <clears throat> well, I have been seeing a, a lot of that on, uh, Twitter, also now known as X. Really, Elon? Uh, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I've always kind of had, uh, simps, if you will, and it's really obvious that those are still around. I mean, I've run a YouTube channel with my son, and I, I think we've gotten like a thousand subscribers just from our first playthrough of the game, and um, people are really enjoying Roxanne Wolf, and I, I'm flattered, truly. <laughs> I am taken, though, in, in case anyone was wondering, you know, Glamrock Freddy and I are sort of a thing, so, um, yeah. Look, do I look like a robot? Here, pinch me. I I'm not a robot, I swear. Um, I'm alright. I, I don't want you to throw me in an elevator, too. What? No, I'm not gonna... Oh my god, this is ridiculous, guys. Are you kidding? Really? Would you ever date a fan? Would I date a... Uh, well, I'm a little young to worry too much about dating. I never had a boyfriend before or girlfriend or anything um i i, I don't know M maybe do you love glamrock freddy oh well um <clears throat> it's it's a little early to be saying the l word uh, to a degree i would say yes i mean we were high school sweethearts uh, we did get married for a couple of days um even though we were also divorced uh freddy and i have had a very rocky relationship um you can check most of it out on roxanne wolf and gregory show lots of ups and downs for the two of us but i mean i have to have love for him to a degree because he's the father to my child obviously we are in a relationship now it's just a little complicated at the moment and we're taking things slow so we haven't once again said the l word just yet but i am very much enjoying my time being with him once again <laughs> would you let roxanne wolf adopt you like she adopted gregory <laughs> honestly i would love that but at the same time, I really close uh, with my parents, so um, especially my dad, so uh, probably not. <laughs> if you are a robot, you're an evil robot, aren't you? I'm, you know what? Bee bee boo boo bop. Your replacement, she replaced you. Are you still the janitor? So I actually have a meeting with um, the higher ups about that later. Given my replacements, a lack of availability, mentally-wise. Is it your birthday? Um, let's just say I I have good faith that I'm going to get my position as Roxanne Wolf back at the Pizza Plex, especially after my wonderful performance in the Ruined DLC. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be dressing up as any of the Ruin animatronics for Halloween this year? Actually, surprisingly, no, I don't think I'm going to. I actually think I'm just gonna 
dress up as myself with uh, my outfit from the Ruined DLC. Booby, oh boo, my boo, gosh, boogie, you're getting this boogie, on camera, boogie, right? Boogie, okay. Boo, 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 oh my, boo. he's he's doing the robot thing. Have you seen Gregory's song? Would you consider him a singer? And do you think <sighs> he'll finally take accountability for murdering his best friend with an elevator? Um, I did see Gregory's song. I I'm not sure if that's the way I would have advised him to go about an apology. Um... I uh, don't, you're not going to tell him I told you this, right? Well, this is going to be going live. I thought it was cute. I mean, he had the ukulele and everything. I, I didn't know he could play ukulele, but uh, he did a good job, so. It's a good thing he's employed by the Ruin DLC because the boy definitely can't sing. I wasn't going to say it, but you did, so. No offense, Gregory. <laughs> the boy isn't as musically talented as his parents he's got good dance moves um this isn't you know a jab at you gregory it's just uh, the song was a little rough um but uh he has plenty of other talents what was the question did you end up keeping anything from the set of Ruin DLC? Oh, I was hoping you would ask this question. I did actually. I got to take home literally anything I wanted. So at my house, I have the Roxy Talkie and I have the Faz Wrench. And I actually even brought with me something that you guys might like. <laughs> Let me just put it on really quick. Boom. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, wow. The Vanny mask. That's very cool. Mm-hmm. I, uh, decided to bring it with me onto the interview in case you guys wanted to see it. It is really cool and it actually does make this whole room look like the Ruin DLC pizza plex, so. If you were to put it on, it doesn't implant something in your brain though, right? That's not real. No, that part was uh, totally just imaginary. It was acted out. <laughs> Roar! Roxanne, can you please sit back down? Do you know what time it is? Party time! Um, it's interview time. Roar! That's it, I'm leaving. You can, uh, take the mask off now, Oh, <laughs> sorry, sure. Beep, beep, boop, boop. This just confirms uh, everything. Beep, boop, all right, one last beep. question, Gregory. Are all your answers written by AI? No, they're not... They're from my brain, okay? What do you think? This is from ChatGPT? Is that what you want me to say? All of my answers are from ChatGPT because I'm an AI evil robot. Beep, beep, boop. Beep, beep, boop, bop. Is that what you, you wanted? You got that on camera, right? Okay. Yes. That'll be the headliner for tomorrow. Gregory confirms he is a robot. Rounding this interview off, are you excited for Ruin DLC? Part two. <laughs> I've signed a lot of NDAs, so I can't really speak on too much, but let's just say if there is a second part to the game and I'm a part of it, then I will be ecstatic and I hope there's more Roxanne and Cassie scenes and I hope that we get to see the good side of Gregory again. Absolutely. It was so nice sitting down and chatting with you, Cassie. I'm so glad that you're not dead in real life. Uh, uh Thanks, I think. Oh All right, thank you, Gregory, for the interview. Uh, we won't be seeing you again. Um, enjoy and stop murdering your friends, please. I'm not murdering anyone. This is this is ridiculous. I'm I'm out of here. I'm I'm out of here. Get I'm out of here. Thank you so much. Hopefully, you get to go home and uh discipline your brat of a child. Oh 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 my um. Hmm, I won't be doing that. Uh, thank you. Uh, were all the angles okay? Do you need any more glamour shots? You, get, get away from me. Seriously, you, you said this was the end of the interview. Oh my gosh, this is so... Ugh. Go, go, stop. Please stop following me. You're gonna follow me home? Oh my, this is ridiculous. Get away from me!